Actuarial science is all about understanding and mitigating risks. Think of risks in insurance, in uh, financial companies, in banks. In this program, you will learn about how to use mathematics, statistics, and data science in order to understand, model, manage, and mitigate risks. Well, the University of Amsterdam is the only university in the Netherlands and one of the very few universities in Europe that offer a um, bachelor's program in actuarial science. And we also offer master's and post-master's programs that will prepare our students for a variety of uh, career options. All three programs uh, sit at the intersection of mathematics, statistics, economics, and increasingly data science as well. The difference is what in what the programs focus on. Actuarial science is all about risk management and risk assessment. Well, think of insurance, think of finance, um, think of pensions and investments. Econometrics has a rather broader focus on uh, understanding or predicting economic relations, economic dynamics. And business analytics has the focus on solving problems faced by companies on a daily basis, uh, such as logistics, human resources management, um, etc. Well, I chose this program because I've always had a keen interest in how our pension and insurance systems work and how these systems can be made a bit more robust to the current changes in the world. So this program really gave me a chance to get to explore that. What I enjoy most about the program is that my classes are very international and diverse. So from that you get a lot of different and interesting perspectives from students from all over the world. A common misconception that people tend to have about actuarial science is that actuaries uh, always work in the insurance industry. But uh, traditionally that has been indeed the case, but nowadays um, Actuaries can be found in a variety of careers, definitely in insurance and reinsurance, but also in banks and financial institutions, investment funds, pension funds, government agencies, ministries, non-governmental organizations, NGOs, consultancies, and many of our students uh, also start their own companies or their own startups. After I graduate, I hope to do an internship so I can get a chance to apply everything that I would have learned during these three years. And then after that, hopefully pursue a master's.